Parallax has been a pillar of the food scene in Cleveland and really the Tremont neighborhood for going on 10 years or more than 10 years more now. Than 10 years. More than 10 years. I've got Chef Zach Brule and Jeff Gable here at Parallax. And we're going to make one of your favorite sauces on the menu today. Thai, Thai red curry sauce. Okay, so where do we begin? This sounds exotic, but you say we can do this. I can do this. Anybody can do Anybody this. Anybody can do You heard it from, you heard it from the man <laughs> himself. We're going to take some Thai red curry paste, okay. and we're going to lightly saute it okay. in some vegetable oil. We're going to add some galanga root. Galanga root? Yeah, now if you smell that, you may not be able to get that in the grocery store. It smells it, like ginger. It, it's in the ginger family, so you okay. can sort of substitute the ginger for okay. it. Then we're going to add some lime zest. Lime zest, okay. And kefir lime leaves. And then we're going to start adding our wet ingredients. Okay. So we'll add some lime juice. Okay. Just sort of deglaze. Sure. Some coconut milk. Then what we're going to add is some brown sugar. Now we'll add some of the rough cut cilantro. The fish sauce, you don't want to take it by yourself. No. Whew. Oh, it, that's stinky. Yeah, it's pretty funky. <laughs> you want that in there? Definitely. Okay. We have this on a low heat, so we're just going to let it steep for a while. Now what we're going to do is saute the scallops. Okay. We cook on real high heat so we can get the caramelization on the protein. So don't be scared. There's nothing These to be afraid of. are expensive fish, but don't be scared. Yeah, there's a, it, it, this is like a dog. If it knows that, it, it's a, that you're afraid of it, you'll ruin it. it it'll scent your fear. Okay. We salt and pepper it first. We're gonna put some oil on this. Now, if you were doing this in the saute pan, you would get the saute pan to the point where it's smoking hot. A little bit of butter? A little bit of butter, not okay. a lot. A little. Okay. To get it to brown. I know you're going to ask me how long does this take. Well, it depends on the size of the scallop, doesn't it? Obviously. Mm -hmm. You start to see the brown yeah, uh, you caramelization can around the edge. And you can see the edge sort of separating. Just ballparking it as far as time, like uh, 90 seconds if that. Exactly. We've let it steep. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to strain it out. Ooh, that's good. It's bold. What we strive for is the food to explode in your mouth. Uh, mission accomplished. It's like <laughs> we have this bamboo rice, mm -hmm. which has this Green. sort of perfumey flavor mm -hmm. to it. This is Chinese broccoli. Mm -hmm. so now we're going to put our scallops on. I always serve in threes. Is there something spiritual about that? I guess. You want to try it? I do. Mmm. Yum. This you're not going to eat this with me? Am I going to eat this all by myself? No, you're eating it all by yourself. Okay, no problem. This dish Twist is... my arm. Yeah. 